Joining us this morning with some tips for us on how to navigate this record inflation, we have financial expert Dan White of Daniel A. White and Associates. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Shelley. So let's start with how prepared should consumers be for a possible recession? Is it possible to prepare at this point? Well, you know, it's kind of funny. It's kind of, it's like Groundhog Day from two years ago. I mean, two years ago, we had the COVID pandemic and the markets crashed. And uh, unfortunately, this time, the Fed is not going to run to the rescue like they did two years ago. In fact, this time, they're raising interest rates to kind of stave off inflation. <clears throat> and that's affecting both the stock and the bond market. So one thing that people always mid-year, it's always a good thing to do is, is try to take a look at your allocations. They're probably completely out of whack. Mm -hmm. um, this time, it's it's kind of, you know, stocks and bonds kind of a lot of times are negatively correlated, which means when stocks are going down, bonds are going up. Unfortunately, that's not the case this time either. I mean, they're both kind of falling. So you want to take a look at your allocation, see where you're at, and see if it makes sense to reallocate. And what would you advise when you're looking at that? Like, what should you be focusing on exactly? Well, like I said, there's there's not a real good place to hide at this point. Yeah. Um, I know I know cash is not sexy. It's not, <laughs> you know, no, nobody thinks doing nothing is is a poor choice. But you know, cash not losing in this environment is actually winning. So you might want to you might want to sit on the sidelines for a little bit, six months, and. See where this thing shakes out before you before you jump back in. Okay, as far as savings, is there a certain amount you advise people have saved up, kind of set aside as their safety net? Yeah, you, you definitely want to have three to six months as an emergency fund, and that's a great point as well. With rates going up, your fixed income instruments are also rising as well. So you know we're starting to see not necessarily on the, the CDs are going up a little bit, but our fixed annuities and such. We're seeing them in the threes, the fours, some of them are even touching 5%. So I think people are making that flight to safety, as we say. Uh, it's kind of a risk off mode, get out of the market and try to look for some type of safe haven. Okay. I know a lot of people are looking at exactly like each line item where you're spending your money. Um, when you're looking at your budgets, should you set a new budget? Should you, you know, really try to take an even tighter look at that? Yeah, you know, a lot of people's uh, uh, budgets are very tight. And uh, if you're planning a vacation this year, you know, I, you know, if you've filled up your tank lately, you're paying twice as much to fill up the tank. So you might want to think about going someplace a little closer to home, maybe a staycation, something like that. Uh, you definitely have to factor in inflation, the higher gas prices, and uh, everything's higher. Let's face it, food's higher. I mean, no matter where you go, you're going to be paying higher prices. Airfares are skyrocketing. Uh, so, yeah, but I think before you plan that vacation, you might have thought it was going to cost X amount, and now it's either probably going to be double. So you, you got to look at that. All right. Dan White, thank you for your insight this morning. We always appreciate it. You have a great day.